at all. Edged and carried, it has carried. A breakthrough finally for Pakistan. Imran Khan has bowled a good little spell here. Past the outside edge of Cook's bat, and now he's taken the edge of Moin Ali. Yeah, feeling for it again. Look at that and wonder, did I have to play at it? The answer's probably not, but you did. Takes the outsider, just carries. And Khan gets the breakthrough. Moen Ali, he's gone. He's gone for 35, it's 116 for one. Oh, finally. Finally, they get one right in the last 15 minutes or so of the thir third day. Well, a terrific time. The partnership is brought at last as Bell flashes into the offside. The feast takes this catch. It's a juicy half volley. It's wide. It's not a half volley. A little bit of dust and straight to backward point. Just a break in concentration as Bell goes. Good wicket for Pakistan at this time. Bell 63, 281 for two. He's bowled him, played on, chopped onto the stumps. So Abrias gets another reward here, just uh, in the last few moments of day three. Terrific effort from Wab. Gets rid of Bell and then goes hunting for the night watchman around the wicket. Mark Wood came in and he was edgy towards second slip and survived that, but not this. Inside edge back onto the stumps. Wab now two for 74. England have lost their third wicket. Mark Wood has gone for four. 285 for three. Oh, taken. It's a good one. Root is gone. Slashing at a wide delivery and a very good catch by Sarfraz. He really had to lunge to his right. And Root is clearly upset because there was a hundred on the taking here. He's missed out on a great opportunity. Yep, absolutely. It's well wide. Goes for it. And that's a good catch. So for us, he does well there. Billy No makes there on his own, but he managed to make the ground. Fantastic effort. Joe Root has to go. He'll be bitterly disappointed. Just 15 runs short of 100. He goes for 85. It's 426 for four. Oh, that's a good shout. That is a very, very good shout. And it's been given. It's full and it looks straight. Johnny Bairstow looking to work the ball into the leg side. He has a chat and he's going to review. Well, I don't think he's hit this. They'd have reviewed it immediately if there was a hit. He only has to be clipping the stumps. It looks full and straight. That's okay. If it's not hitting the bat, then it's a brave review because you've got to completely miss the stumps. Don't feel that there is any bat in that. But yes, the middle stump is visible, but he's right inside his crease. Seems like the ball has passed the blade. It looks very out, it's a very brave review. Probably he was a little unsure if he's got a bit of bat on that. And there we see the ball. Yeah, it's hitting the stops. Umpire's call. And there's wicket number five. And it felt like as if we were in the 40th over of the innings because, oh, gone, bowl him. Is looking quizzically at the pitch where it dropped, and so a spinner has broken through. And it's Shweb Malik who is uh, looking at the brighter side of things. He, he can't believe it, as if he's embarrassed by it. Well, it's been a long time coming. I, I think the umpire wants to check the front foot, but thankfully for Shweb Malik, at least that uh, looks as though it's okay on the front line. Ben Stokes hurtling down the pitch and. 
Finally, a spinner gets a wicket here in Abu Dhabi. It's been a long, long time coming. The last session of the fourth day. And Stokes, having played a bright and breezy little innings of 57, has gone. And England are 5.34 for six. In the air. This should be it. Yes, it is. The catch has been taken and the spinner once again gets a reward. But what a knock has been played by England's captain. 263. Trying that sweep shot. He's in two minds. Whether to paddle it or hit it hard. In the end he gets a, a top edge. It's an epic innings from Alistair Cook. He gets a top edge. Easy pouch in the end, but what a wonderful innings. So the double centurion takes the wicket of another double centurion. And the second wicket for a spinner, but what a knock from uh, England's captain. He's got England to 549. That surely was a marathon knock. 263 and well played. But not this time. Butler succumbs looking to repeat the dose to Zulfik Abar and finally the left arm spinner into his 69th over has a wicket. One for 176 he has now. A long, long wait has come to an end for him. And with the demise of Cook, the England innings is coming to a close as well. It's Butler this time looking to go into out. The man had just dropped a little deeper. It's Asad Shafiq, I think, the catcher there at a deepish extra cover. So Butler now gone for 23 of 28 balls. And England eight down for 563. Oh, that's beautifully done. To get that kind of result on a pitch like this is simply fa fabulous effort from uh, the bowler. Imran Khan has castled the debutant, playing an extravagant drive, and uh, it's gone through the gap. Yeah, and actually just moved off the seam a little. Imran Khan's strength as a seamer on these kind of pitches is to bowl straight and attack the stumps. And that's what he did on that occasion. The ball just running back into Adil Rashid, trying to play an expansive drive down the ground. He's been bowled for 12. England nine down now for 590. 